Veggies are so very nice, they are good for skin and good for eyes. I like them. I like them. Fruits and veggies are so very nice, they are good for skin and good for eyes. I like them. I like them. What's up guys? My name is Kweku. I also go by Kuku or Kwe. And welcome to Seek the Greatness, a channel that's all about applied self-improvement. And I say applied because not everything in this video will work for you. Everyone's different and I want you to find the best plans that suit you. Also, don't forget to like or subscribe to my channel if you end up enjoying this video. With that being said, I'm going to tell you three reasons why you can't get up really early and the three steps you can take to break through that struggle. Now, I'm talking crack of dawn early, right? From like 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Now, if you're watching this video, I already know you want to start getting up early. Uh, but, you know, you just seem to get yourself out of bed. But on top of that, I'll also tell you some of the awesome benefits of getting up really early. Uh, so some of the benefits are that you will become more productive and creative because you just have all this extra time. And then you will form good, consistent habits over time. And you'll be able to, like, knock out whatever tasks you want to earlier in the day. And you also form this mental ability to slow down time and enjoy life. I feel like um, that I've been, I've become a happier person person, you know, being able to get up at 5 a.m. and just allocate more time to the things that I want to do. Uh, so those are some of the really awesome benefits of getting up early. Um, but when your alarm finally goes off at 5 a.m. and you try to get up, you know, your brain's just, your brain starts telling you all these negative things like, oh, screw this. I don't feel like getting up. I just want to sleep in, you know, just hit the, hit the snooze button, right? And if you're having those thoughts, that's just your brain trying to protect you from, taking on the challenge of getting up early because that's not within your comfort zone. But in order to improve, we need to challenge ourselves and move out the comfort zone. So with these three proven steps, here's how you can finally start getting up really early. Uh, so step one is to become the early riser with a purpose. So step one is going to be the hardest step, but the most important one, right? You have to become a person who gets up early or cultivate the mindfulness of an early riser. So, and you just have to, like, there's no way around, there's no way around it. So in order to cultivate this identity, you have to keep telling yourself why you're getting up early every time. So for example, um, every time I have to get up at 5 a.m., I always think, or I tell myself I'm an early riser because I want to get an early head st start on work from Monday to Friday. I tell myself I'm an early riser because I don't want to work out after I come home from work. I'm an early riser because I want to work on my YouTube channel when I'm more energized in the morning. So I'm an early riser because I feel more successful that way. And I am because I've seen major improvements in my life. I formed really good consistent habits. I make my bed, I work out, and I get to let my creative passion out when it's at its peak. So I'm an early riser with a purpose and that's the person that I've become. And that mentality is part of my identity now. So I hope you want to become an early riser with a purpose and apply that mentality to your life. Okay, so now on to step two. So once you decide to become an early riser, uh, you just need to implement a rise early plan or your REP. I call it REP for short. So that's step two is to create a rise early plan or REP. So what's my REP? Um, mine's pretty easy to implement because I work a normal nine to five job, right? So my REP requires that I get 68 hours of sleep and that I'm in bed between eight to 10 p.m. I also black out my room I put my phone in airplay mode and take melatonin supplements, right? Uh, so melatonin supplements right here and they promote relaxation and sleep. And that's my rep. That's everything in my plan that ensures that I get to bed on time. And most importantly, ensures that I, I get the best sleep so I can get up at 5 a.m., all right? So I'll share a funny story with you. Like I mentioned, I take melatonin supplements, but I also found out melatonin causes sleep paralysis. <laughs> I had a nightmare where something jumped into the bed with me and I couldn't move or scream and it was just terrifying. So if you're not okay with occasional sleep paralysis, don't incorporate melatonin pills into your rep. So the whole point is if you want to rise early, implement a rise early plan or rep. So try to create your own rep and tell me what it is in the comments. Hashtag REP, <laughs> right? So on to step three. So step three is to 
cut the time snatchers. So, so after making the decision to become an early riser and figuring out your own like REP or rep, um, you also need to cut the time snatchers. And what are time snatchers? Time snatchers are distractions that cut into your rep or the hours of sleep that you need or things that are just cutting into your goals, right? So I'm talking Twitter, Facebook, video games, Netflix, or late nights out with your friends. These things are fun to do, but you know they can end up eating all your productivity, your plans, or your energy if you spend too much time on them. So unlike real life, these distractions are totally within your control because you can allocate less time to them and allocate more time to trying to get up early or trying to become the greater version of yourself. So getting up so that's like getting up was really getting up really early was hard for me because i just spent too much time on the time snatchers i was just giving way too much time to them and they weren't moving my life forward you know um there weren't things that were helping me because you when you spend too much time playing video games or too much time on facebook and you're not focusing on ways to improve yourself um then you know then your life doesn't just really improve uh, so once I realized that it was just easy to allocate less time to the time snatchers and allocate more time to achieving my goal of like working on this YouTube channel and just try to create a greater version of myself. So yeah, so in order to start rising up early, just to summarize, right, you're going to make the decision to become an early riser with a purpose. That's step one. And the step two is to figure out your REP or rep. And then finally, you cut the time snatchers. And by doing these three things, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to improve your life over time, right? You have more time to be productive. You form really good habits. Now, since I get up at 5 a.m., I like to think I have this superpower or ability to control time. I never feel rushed, and I feel happier as a person because I get to take in the world around me and just enjoy life. And you can too if you implement those uh, three steps. So yeah, those are my three steps on how to get up really early. In my next video, we'll talk about how to get to bed early using the REP or rep in a more detailed fashion. And then we'll also talk about what can go wrong with trying to with, with getting to bed early. We'll talk about you know obstacles you might face with trying to get to bed early. And I'll upload those videos weekly. Again, if none of this applies to you or you have questions, place them in the comments. You know, I don't want this video to be a one size fits all. Because, uh, you know, everyone has different situations. But if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. This is Kweku. I also go by Kuku or Kwe. Um, I love you all. And remember to seek the greatness within you. Peace. Fruits and veggies are so very nice. They are good for skin and good for eyes. I like them. I like them. Fruits and veggies are so very nice. They are good for skin and good for eyes. I like them. I like them.